and let's begin. All right, so go ahead and find yourself in a comfortable seated position. Oh, by the way, I apologize for the noise. Apparently, they're cleaning the roof here at, at our building. Um, I suppose because they think nobody is supposed to be here, but I had to run away from home because there's a lot of people at, how, at the house. So I'm here if there's a little bit of noise and it really starts to um, bother you, I will come closer, okay? You don't have to actually look at me or see me, just kind of listen to me. I try to model as I teach, but I don't have to. So if there's a problem and you can't hear me, you can unmute yourself and say, Fat, we can't hear you, and then I'll change my teaching, all right? But in the meantime, as long as you can hear me, we can come to a seated position. When you're sitting, you probably wanna have a blanket or something or the towel to sit on. It makes it a lot easier on your hips and on your tailbone. All right, coming to a comfortable seated position, let's just start with very organic movement. Let's stretch to the side and to the side. Good, one more time. Good, let's come to center. Let's stretch forward and back, just kind of like a little cat-cow action. So coming forward, opening the chest, the heart, rolling the shoulders back, and then rounding back. Taking a deep breath as you open your heart and roll the shoulders back, and then rounding into yourself as you exhale. Remember, you're on mute, so if you want to sigh and just let it all out, you take a deep breath in, and then you sigh it out. <sighs> and let's do it one more time. You're coming forward as you open your heart center. Exhale, let it go. Good, coming back to a seated position, start rolling your shoulders, bringing the shoulders up to the ears and then pressing them down and back, up to the ears and pressing them down and back a few more times. Good, let's reverse, bringing the shoulders up and then bringing them forward. Do one more. Good, now go ahead and shake the shoulders and let them be. Shake the hands. Good, bring the hands now to your knees and start rolling the head. You can do half circles or whole circles, but keep your shoulders relaxed. <sighs> Make sure that you're circling super slow. Remember that you're making time for yourself. No rush. Feel the muscles of your neck. Feel your throat opening. Good, and then you can slow down and reverse. Good, slowing it down, bringing the head back to center. We're going to start making Sufi circles. So you're going to inhale, come forward. Exhale as you round back. Good. 
good. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Good. Slow it down. Let's do two more. And one more. Beautiful. Come back to center. Switch your legs. If you want, in, the, in between switching sides, you can always give your legs a little bit of a shake. And then bringing the foot that was in front to the back. And we're gonna do the Sufi circles to the other side. So you're gonna inhale coming forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. The slower the better, you're gonna be able to feel your muscles a little bit more. You're gonna be able to feel the stretch a little bit more. And just generally slowing down the rhythm of thinking, life, doing, and just taking a moment here to focus on yourself and to connect to your baby. We have to slow down and quiet down when we wanna connect. It's very hard to connect when we're rushing and busy and doing, doing, doing. <sighs> Good. <clears throat> Do two more. One. And two. Good. And then come back to center. Awesome. Let's bring um, our hands here. We can bring one hand over our heart and the other hand over our babies. Okay. Go ahead and close your eyes. You don't have to see me. All I want you to do is take about a minute. I'm gonna keep it nice and short, but sweet. I want you to take a minute and just feel your sits bones connecting to the earth. If you need to wiggle or shift to feel more centered, you can do that. Feel your spine, so See if you can imagine your spine from the tailbone going upwards and upwards and upwards all the way to the crown of your head. And if you need to make any adjustments, once again, <clears throat> physically you can. Relax your jaw, relax your chin. Notice if you're sticking the chin out too much or bringing it in too much, bring it to the center. With your eyes closed, it's a little easier to feel you should feel a lot more at ease when you're aligned. You can also very, very slowly kind of shift forward and back like a pendulum or side to side, but just to find your center, not to actually work the body, just to find your center. And then once you found your center, try to take a few deep breaths. And as you inhale, feel the belly grow, feel the ribs expand, feel your back body growing, feel yourself really growing like a balloon. And as you exhale, feel that balloon releasing the air and shrinking back to zero, yeah. And just a few more breaths like that. Use whatever imagery works for you, but feel the expansion and the growth as you inhale, don't push it. Feel the release as you exhale. <clears throat> Good. A few more times, deep breath in through the nose. 
and out through the nose. In through the nose and out through the nose. Good. Let's do two more in deeply and fully. And out. <clears throat> One last breath. your eyes closed and just take a moment here to thank your baby. Our babies choose us. Thank your baby for choosing you to be their mom, for trusting you to be amazing. Thank your body for serving you, for growing a beautiful life inside. Good, and then you can bring your hands together in front of your heart center. And as a group, let's make a wish for all the moms that are pregnant, that are about to have a baby, or that are having a baby right now. And let's send them healing and strength and love. And maybe set an intention for yourself as well. Beautiful. And then let's open our eyes. Good. And release the hands. Let's take hands in knees position. So this is a good time to have your blanket under your knees. You're gonna take hands in knees position. Ideally, you're just aligning the knees under your hips and the hands under your shoulders. If you have any wrist issues, it's probably better for you to just make fists instead of having your hands on the ground. Good. And now with a nice flat back, you're gonna take a deep breath and look out. As you exhale, you're gonna round in like a cat. Good, inhale, flat back. So also give your baby a little bit of a hug. Use your muscles to hug your baby as you look out. And exhale, you're gonna press the ground away and round in. Good, few more. Inhale, looking out. Exhale, rounding in. Inhale, deep breath, look out. Exhale, round in. And a few more on your own. Good, deep, slow breath, cat cow. Let's do two more. Good, and then come back to center. We're gonna do a calf stretch. So from here, if your wrists are, are very sensitive, you can go down to your forearms. Even if your wrists are not sensitive, you can go down to your forearms. You can send the leg behind you, so straight leg behind you. 
Toes are gonna be on the ground and then you're gonna be pressing the heel away. You're gonna feel the length in the back of your legs. Relax your head, you don't have to look out. You can also rock forward and back gently on top of your toes, just kind of still getting that nice stretch, press back. Rock forward a little bit and then press the heel back. Yeah, just a little bit of movement. Good, let's do two more. Wonderful, then bring the knee back and take the other leg behind you, straight leg, toes on the ground, and press the heel away. Good, just press and feel the lengthening in the back of the leg. Beautiful, and then you can rock gently forward and back. <clears throat> Two more. And then bring the knee back under your hips and come back to hands and knees. So now we're gonna take the right leg behind us and we're just gonna lift the leg up. Good, and then flex and point the foot. Whenever you're gonna lift the leg up, you do really need to make sure that your spine is nice and straight. So pretty neutral spine, don't concave into that lower back. Give your baby a little bit of a hug. Keep flexing and pointing the foot and then make some circles with the foot in one direction and the other. So you're still here, making circles, making circles. Good, now go ahead and bend that knee and so press the foot into the sky, but not too much, just very little. You're gonna feel it in your glutes. One, two, and three, and now let's make circles. So big circles with the knee. Big circle, good. Big circle, and then reverse. One, breathe, hug your baby, and relax. Good, shake your hips a little bit side to side. And let's take it to the other side. So left leg behind you. Good, make sure you're hugging your baby, your spine is straight, so you don't wanna dip into the shoulders or into the lower back. Have nice, strong core, and then flex and point the foot a few times. Good, flex and point, flex and point. And make some circles with the foot, only the foot. If it's too much, you can put your leg back down. You know that, right? You can always take a break. Circle, circle, reverse the circle, and then bend the knee. This is not easy. <laughs> Press the foot up a little bit, a few times, knees bent. Good, and then three circles. One, breathe. Three, and reverse. One, two, Three, good, put the knee down, shake your hips a little bit side to side. Let's take our first child's pose. Child's pose is awesome, not just because it's great for your hips, it's also great to center yourself and connect to your intuition. So opening the knees pretty wide, bringing the big toes together, sending your hips back, and then walking your head down. Forehead can come to the ground, but, <clears throat> When you're pregnant, sometimes everything comes up, or you have heartburn, or you have a lot of pressure in your sinuses. You can always put your head on top of your fists. Another way to do this pose is if your hips are very tight and achy, is to keep the hips up, more like a puppy pose, which looks like this if you are looking. <clears throat> if 
And this is a resting pose. So stay here for a few more breaths. And think about your baby. It's always nice to think about our baby when we're quiet. It helps us connect. <sighs> Beautiful. One more deep breath. And exhale fully. Good. Inhale, slowly coming back up to hands and knees. So we're going to do quite a bit hands and knees today. So in between, if you need to create some circles with your hands or fists or stretch them out, do that. We're going to go back to hands and knees. So we're going to bring the knees back under the hips. And I always say that it's very important that you understand that your hips are not this wide. They're pretty much right here. This is your hip bone. So your knees should be right under your hip bone. And then your hands under your shoulders or, of course, fists. My wrists are always hurting, so I do a lot of the fist work. All right, so now we're going to take the right leg back behind us once again. Right leg back. Good. And then we're going to take the left arm up. You're going to look down at your mat, so you're not looking out. You're just looking down. Take a deep breath and find some length. Good. Hug your baby. So engage that core. Keep the spine long and straight. And then slowly bring the hand down and the knee down. Other side. Inhale. Left leg up. Right arm up. If this is too much for you, the left foot can come down to the floor. Yes. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Lower. Good, right leg, left arm, reach. Hug your baby, keep your hips balanced and parallel to the ground. Beautiful, slowly lower. Left leg, right arm, reach. And lower, let's do two more on each side. Right leg, left arm. Lengthen, lengthen, beautiful, reaching out, and then exhale, lower, left leg, right arm, length, create length, beautiful, and exhale, lower, one more, inhale, right leg, left arm, deep breath, slow down your breath, exhale, lower, and left leg, right arm, Exhale, lower, shake your hips, make some circles. Good, reverse the circle, beautiful. <clears throat> and then back to hands and knees, okay? So now we're going to take the right leg back up, and then we're going to cross it over the left foot and bring the right toes to the ground. Yep, now you're gonna move the left foot a little bit and then open the right arm, just like that. Open, yeah. Take a deep breath and reach up. Good, one more breath, you're here. Good. and then slowly bring the right hand down. So your right toes are still on the ground. Now you're gonna look back at your right foot. Just look back and press the heel away even further. Feel that side body stretch. And breathe. In through the nose and slowly out through the nose. Good. Now the next breath, your right leg goes back up and then knee down. All right, good. Shake your hips and let's do it on the other side. So left leg goes up, cross it over, bring it to the ground. Good. Move your right 
foot out a little bit just so you can create a nice tripod and then open the left hand up to the sky. Good, reach up to the sky and breathe really nice and deep, slow. Life is good. Sigh it out if you're stressed. Good, and then slowly lower the hand down. So the foot is still on the ground. You can bring the right foot in a little bit again and then press their left heel out and away and then look back. Look back so you should feel a nice stretch on your left side. And perhaps your right hip and maybe your back. Okay, take another breath. Good, now your next inhalation, left leg is going to reach back up. Hug your baby, nice, and then bring the knee down. Shake your hips. Awesome, let's tuck the toes under. So you're right here, you're gonna tuck the toes under. Good, and then sit on your toes. You hate this one, I know you do, but it's okay. All right, we're gonna inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. I'm gonna face you. So we're still sitting with tuck toes. Inhale, reach the arms up. I know you hate it, bear with me here. Exhale, down. Good, slow down your breath. Even if your feet hurt a little bit, inhale, reach. Of course, if you have any kind of issues with your feet, plantar fascia, Exhale, lower, or any kind of major pain with your, your knees, of course you don't have to do it. But if it's just muscular pain, discomfort, I say just breathe through the discomfort. Don't allow pain that's dangerous, but breathe through discomfort. Inhale, let me tell you, contractions are super uncomfortable. At least they were for me, but I definitely use my breath. One more breath in. I know, I know your feet are bothering you. It's okay, me too. Exhale, here. Go ahead and interlace your fingers. I know you want to be out. Go ahead and make some circles like this, just kind of stretching the wrist. Reverse the figure eight. And then press those palms out and away. Inhale, reach them up. One last breath. I know, I know your feet are burning. Open your heart, reach, 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 and then exhale, release. Bring your hands forward and just relax your feet. You can say, ah. <laughs> relax your feet, maybe even tap on the top of the feet. All right. I see someone drinking water, which is awesome. Go ahead and everybody reach for your water and have a sip. This is why it's so good for me to see you because when I see you, you guys remind me of what needs to be done. Okay, so we're back on our knees here. You can bring your knees even a little closer together if you want to, and I would still suggest having a blanket under your knees. We're going to pretty much dance on our knees in a sense, right? So what I like to do is I like to play with the arms and the legs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with just sitting like this. This time your toes do not have to be tucked unless you want to. So we're gonna inhale, bring both arms up, come up on our knees like that. Knees can be separated a little bit, yes? And exhale, slowly come down. Beautiful, inhale, reach, reach, reach up and exhale, slowly come down. So as you're coming down, you definitely need to kind of hug your baby. Inhale. Like this. Reach up. Yoga. Exhale. You do the exercise. Exercise. <laughs> Inhale. <laughs> exhale. Good, let's do three more. Inhale, reach and open your heart. Exhale, two more. Inhale, reach, 
and open your heart. Beautiful. And exhale. Lower. And one more. Inhale. Reach. And exhale. Lower. Good. So come back to hands and knees. And then bring your thumbs together or your fists together and step the right foot forward. Good. If you need a block or something to lift up, I know we have a studio. This is a lot easier in the studio. But if you need something, you have books, blocks. If not, you can go on the tips of your fingers. And then walk the right foot a little further out. So when you're coming to a lower lunge, I'll show you from the side. The knee doesn't go past the ankle, as you can see. So I'm here, my hands can still be on the ground and I'm in a low lunge. My right knee doesn't go past the ankle or I can use my hands on top of the knee and come up like this. Or if this is really uncomfortable, I'll press up a little bit more so I'm more centered. But either way, you're gonna feel it a lot more on the left side here, on the hip flexor in the front. So you're either here, here, hands can stay on the ground, or some of you might wanna bring the arms up. Take a deep breath. You can even look up if you want to. And one more breath. Good, and then exhale, wherever you are, you're gonna bring your hands all the way down to the ground and then press your hips back so the right leg now is straight. If it's too much for the belly, you can always move the leg a little bit more to the right. Legs usually don't become completely straight, but if they are and you have the flexibility, awesome. And some of you might even bend the elbows and come a little lower. Just make sure you're not compressing the belly. So you're coming a little bit more to the side. All right, and now you may not be so comfortable, right, in your hamstring. So try to breathe to your hamstring. In labor, you're not going to be comfortable in the abdomen area. And it'll be really helpful for you to breathe to the uterus to breathe to your baby and to remember that the rest of your body is great, healthy and strong. So just focus on the area that needs you, that needs your attention, your love, your focus. One more breath. Good, and then let's walk back forward. So we're gonna walk the hands a little bit, bend the knee a little bit, and then you can heel toe the foot out and bring the knee back down and go ahead and wiggle your hips a little bit, shake, circle, whatever works for you. Good, and then let's go to the other side, exactly the same way. So you're gonna bring your hands a little closer together or your fists a little closer together, make room for the left foot to step forward. Walk it out a little bit more. So when you're actually lunging, that knee, doesn't go past your ankle, so you can stay here. You can come here. You can press back a little bit, back off a little bit, right? Or you can bring your arms up. Beautiful, and just breathe. When you're breathing, you're breathing for you and baby. So slow down your breath, take oxygen, take energy, take light, take color. Whatever works for you. Your imagination is magnificent. Use your mind. Open your heart. Bring in some good positive messages. I know sometimes it's hard, but it's, it's work. One more breath. And exhale. Slowly make your way back down. Okay, so now you're gonna take your hips back to straighten the left leg or semi-straighten the left leg. If your leg is straight, you can even flex your foot. I mean, all depends on the flexibility. Take a deep breath. So remember you're breathing to the area that needs most, 
attention, most love, most oxygen, most ah, positivity, right? Tell your hamstrings they're doing great. So if you're comfortable, you can even come lower. It's completely up to you. And take a couple of breaths. Good, and then let's slowly, slowly walk forward a little bit or come up if you're low, bend the knee and heel toe the foot out. Bring the knee back down under your hip, shake your hips a little bit. All right, so let's do thread the needle. I don't even know if I'm gonna bring you up today. <laughs> okay, so for thread the needle, you wanna open the knees a little wider, almost like, uh, well, pretty much like you're opening for a, your child's pose. So your knees are pretty wide, big toes can come together. Hands are gonna be directly under your shoulders, so don't take the hands too far out. Bring the hands in a little bit, yes, under the shoulders. So now first, you're gonna reach out with your left arm. Notice that when you're reaching with your left arm, you're engaging the core a little bit, so the spine stays straight. You're gonna take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, you're gonna bring your hips back, and your arm moves back with you, hand all the way up to the sky and back forward. I'll show you from the side. So it looks like this. All the way up. If you follow the hand and slow it down, you're gonna feel a nice stretch and a twist. All the way up, beautiful. Let yourself flow uh, in the rhythm that feels good for you. Good. Remember, you can always fist the left, I mean, the hand that's on the ground, the right, the right hand. <laughs> Good, one more. And then reverse. So taking it back, reaching forward, nice, all the way. <sighs> Good, one more. And then you get back to the front. So with your hand reaching out, your core engaged. Let's inhale, bring the left arm up to the sky as you open your heart. And as you exhale, you're going to thread it through. So you're coming all the way down until your shoulder is on the ground, your temple is on the ground, and you can relax your right hand either by your side, you can reach it forward, you can bind behind, Notice how much tension you may have on your shoulder, on your arm. See if you can release. See if you can find the tension and surrender. <sighs> kind of accept that not everything feels super comfortable in life, right? So surrender not just to the joyous moments and everything that's amazing in our lives, but also surrendering to the things that are challenging and not super comfortable. And I feel like I need to sigh for that. <sighs> just let it go. Yeah. One more deep breath and feel free to sigh it out. <sighs> Awesome. And then we're going to bring the right hand back by the face, press the ground away, inhale, reach the left arm up, 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 and exhale, bring it down. Other side. If you need to make some circles or stretch your wrists or do anything, feel free. I know it's a lot, but your baby is getting into a great position when you're doing a lot on hands and knees. And you know, I always suggest the ball. So if you have a ball, and I think you should all have a ball, is put it under your chest when you're on hands and knees and just kind of lean on the ball. Okay, let's go to the other side. So your knees are wide. This time you're gonna reach the right arm out. So the left hand can be hand down or fist down. Engage the core whenever you're reaching out. Take a deep breath as you reach out. And then exhale, start moving freely. Maybe you can follow your palm all the way. 
Beautiful. Breathing for you and baby. So slow down your breath. And if you're overwhelmed, you can take a break. Good. Good. One more. And then let's reverse. You're taking it all the way back. And then reach it forward. Good. Inhale all the way back. And reach it forward. Let's do two more. One more. Good. Reaching out, hugging your baby when your arm goes out. Now inhale, open to the sky. Exhale, thread it through. So you can relax the left hand by your side. You can reach it out. You can bind. <sighs> If you close your eyes, you might be able to feel your baby taking a little upward motion away from your pelvic floor and down toward the earth because gravity helps us. When you need to take a little break, when there's too much pressure, you can always invert for a moment or two. Three breaths. Um, and very slowly, we're going to unbind, bring the left hand by your face, press the ground away, reach the right arm up, open your heart, hope, 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 look up, look up, and then exhale, bring the hand back down. Okay, go ahead, bring your knees closer together, sitting on your heel. All right, so we're going to do a keep up. I know you hate it. Me too. So what is a keep up? You can either sit on your heels um, and take a break. You can sit on your glutes, on your tushy and take a break, or you can stand to do this keep up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a three minute exercise. In this exercise, you don't stop. <laughs> so this is like one of the only times I ask you not to give yourself a break or a rest or a discount, unless of course, you have a major issue with your shoulders. So if there's a bone to bone pain and, and, and it's uh, rubbing bone to bone, you don't wanna do it. But as long as you're healthy in your shoulders, this exercise is all about keeping up, so not stopping. You take your arms out, whether you're sitting, standing, whatever position you're in, you can always sit on a chair too, if you need a little bit of a break or the couch. And then it's going to be thumbs up, like this, arms are straight, yes? And then you're gonna start making figure eights with your thumbs, just like that, yeah. But don't do it yet because I'm going to actually time it, okay? So you may even see my, my screen frozen only because I really honestly wanna time it for you and not keep you here for five minutes because that's just not fair. All right, so I'm gonna put a timer. Yep, I am frozen, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to put a timer for three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. So everybody, I can see you and you can hear me. Okay. Go ahead and wherever you are, arms out, thumbs up. I'm going to do it with you once I activate the timer. And then begin. You're going to start doing figure eights. Figure eights with your thumbs. Beautiful. Go ahead. I started the timer. And here I am back with you. Okay, yeah. So this is very challenging. And I always say that when you're um, contracting in the middle of labor, right, you always kind of feel at the beginning the contractions coming. For those of you who have never experienced it, they come and you start to become uncomfortable and then they kind of rise. Yeah, they just keep rising. It's like, wow. <laughs> And you in this exercise right now need to figure out how to find your strength, to find your breath, 
And honestly, to find that part of you that truly believes that you can do this for however long. Usually a contraction is not three minutes. It's a minute, minute and a half, and maybe at times two, but not three. So once you do this, you're amazing, right? You're super strong. You can do anything. If you need to change position with your leg just to keep up with this, that's okay, because during labor, you probably want to move around. Moving around helps ease discomfort. Moving around helps move baby down. Moving around is a good thing to do. I can't tell you how long we have because the timer is not in front of me, so we're just gonna keep breathing <laughs> and getting through this together. Come on. Sometimes the breath needs to become a little deeper, a little bit more intense as the sensations intensify. Breathe, good, you can do this. Come on. You got this, you got this, don't stop. We know we want to. <laughs> Come on, you got this. <sighs> Maybe you're breaking a sweat. <laughs> Come on, keep going. I can look at the timer to give you some encouragement, but it's not long. Come on. Come on, you got this. Oh my God, we have 28 seconds. You got this, keep going. You can do anything for 25 seconds. Come on. Yes, 19, 18. Come on, come on, come on, push through, push through. I know it's not easy, but you got this. You don't give up. You have 11 seconds, come on. Come on, come on, come on, good, five. Four, three, two, one, and then relax. All right, put your hands down, give yourself a stretch. Ooh. <laughs> Almost there. All right, good. Stretch this way, stretch that way. Good, you can make some circles. Okay, let's come to Baddha Konasana or cobbler's pose. So you're going to sit on your blanket or your towel and you're gonna bring the soles of your feet together. Soles of your feet together. Good, and now we're just kind of work, working the spine like a snake. So I want you to have a freestyle here. You're gonna round back. You're gonna come forward. You can make some circles. You can sway. So freestyle it. So I want you to kind of see your spine moving in different directions. Yes, keep going. You guys are doing great. Anything that feels good, you can sway. Good. Move the head a little bit with the back. Good. A few more seconds, maybe coming forward and then slowly rounding back like a wave. It's like dancing with your baby as you're moving. Good. And now you're going to come back up to center, take a deep breath and lengthen, and then slowly come forward. Just relax. Just relax your head. If you feel like swaying gently, that's completely up to you. This is supposed to be relaxing.
Good, and then very, very slowly, we're gonna rise up. <clears throat> One last stretch before final relaxation. Let's open to a straddle. And when you do open to a straddle, it doesn't have to be too big, but you definitely want to pay attention to your pelvis. And in this pose, you don't want to round the spine. You try to really lengthen. It that means that you need something under your knees, that's perfectly fine. You can put something under your knees and you can also bring the legs a little closer, but sitting nice and tall, you're trying to sit in front of the sits bones. You can all bring your hands back here and feel your sits bones. Feel your sits bones, yes. They matter actually, by the way, when it comes to giving birth, you wanna kind of open them wide. You wanna know where your sits bones are. Yeah, so feel those sits bones sitting nice and tall. Your hands can come right here in front of you. Keep the spine long and you decide if you want to make your way a little bit more forward, but keeping the spine long. And then you can work your way forward even more if it feels right. You should not feel excruciating pain no matter what. You're trying to bring the pubic bone a little closer to the ground. <clears throat> Go ahead and stay here and keep breathing. Talk to your baby. You might feel a little bit more warmth. Your baby's getting more oxygen. Beautiful, and then slowly, slowly make your way up. Since we're already here, stay here for just another moment. Bring the right hand in front of the right leg. Inhale, left arm goes up, and just give yourself a nice side stretch before we relax fully. Side stretch helps you breathe better because they stretch the intercostal muscles here in between your ribs. <sighs> Good. So work on lengthening rather than collapsing. Yeah, keep the, the length in the left side of your body here. Left, reach, open. One more breath and then go ahead, release. Let's take it to the other side. Inhale, exhale. Once again, work on length. Don't worry about reaching your leg. Reach and open. And when you're breathing, feel those ribs expanding. <sighs> Good, inhale, reach up and exhale, release. You can grab under your knees, bend your knees a little bit, grab under, round your spine a little bit and drag the legs forward. Give them a shake. Good, flex and point. We did a lot on the hands and I know how sensitive the wrists can be. Mine are very sensitive, so I 100% understand. But you definitely wanna take a lot of hands and knees positions during your pregnancy to bring the baby into a better position, hopefully. You can't guarantee anything, but flex and point. <clears throat> Good, and then if you want, you can also massage your hips, your glutes a little bit by leaning back on your hands, opening the feet wide and windshield wiper your legs just to kind of give the glutes and the hips a little massage here. That would probably be better not on the blankets, by the way, just kind of use the floor, the hardness of the floor. Ah. <sighs> 
Beautiful. And then come back to center. Let's go ahead and lay down. So hopefully you have at least a couple of blankets or a pillow and a blanket. What you want to do is you want to lay on your left. So lay on your left and put something in between your legs or have enough pillows to put your right leg on top of them and slightly lean forward. So you're laying on your left, your left leg is straight, your right knee is bent. And you're just relaxing like that or putting pillows in between your legs, wherever you are. We're gonna take about five minutes to relax.
and take a few deep breaths. And just very, very slowly bring your awareness back to your baby, <clears throat> to your body, to your room, your surrounding. Move your fingers, your toes. Slowly come back to movement. Of course, you don't have to remember your home. So if you want to stay laying down and relaxed, you're welcome to. You can stretch in any way that feels comfortable if you want to. We're going to still have a discussion, but before we have a discussion, we're going to close our our class with a song. It's my way of oming. <clears throat> so instead of om, <laughs> we're gonna sing to our babies. Both are wonderful, by the way. Your babies love the sound of your voice. So sing to your babies a lot. They really do think that you're wonderful singers. They don't know they don't know Celine Dion or Beyonce yet. I mean, they might if you play it a lot. But um, they love your voice. They love, they love your sound. And so feel free to um, sing with me or just listen. And then we'll make time for our discussion. So you can bring your hands to the center of your heart. You can also always bring one hand over the baby and even rub your belly and just kind of remind them that they're good, they're safe, you're good, the world is good. So we're gonna sing You Are My Sunshine, my way. <laughs> okay, so take a deep breath. Exhale fully. Deep breath to tune in. You are my sunshine. My special sunshine, you make me happy when skies are gray. You always know, dear, how much I love you. Each and every passing day. You are my sunshine, my special sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll always know, dear, how much I love you. Each and every passing day. And then just take a moment. One more moment with your baby. Remind yourself that they did choose you and that you are going to be fabulous, Mama. You're going to make a lot of mistakes because you're human. So always keep love in the center of everything and know that you're going to be wonderful. Also, for those of you so due, so close to their due date, trust that your baby knows when to arrive. They make the decision better than us. Trust your body to do really well, to birth like a mother. <laughs> Thank you for sharing this space with me. From my heart to yours, namaste. And now if you want, you can leave or you can ask any, any questions that you may have. I'm gonna stop the recording.